healthier for you than Oreos, Google. And we have some healthy hot takes for y'all on what Android O's first developer preview has brought us so far. But first, let's take a minute to break down a few features you'll definitely get the most impact from. First of all, more menus to dig through for the settings. Better get used to searching up what you want to toggle. You can now snooze notifications and toggle what topics you'll be notified on from any certain app. Apps that do autofill, like Filler and LastPass, can play with system-wide APIs to plug their data into other apps' forms. For you iPad Pro fans, there's picture-in-picture -picture mode. No, not like that. Like that, with customizable functions from that view. Adaptive icons will show updated data and some animations. OEMs can make these animations fit within their UI aesthetic. There's wide color gamut support for those pictures and videos that need it. Advanced Bluetooth audio codecs are in the mix, including app decks, and there's an API for high-quality, low-latency audio streaming. The web view experience, as crash-prone as it is, gets to be a process separate from the app it comes from, but crashes will report under the original app's banner. Finally, if you know how to get into the system UI tuner, you've got customizable lock screen and navbar shortcuts. Of course, there's always the disclaimer that things will change, and with three more developer previews coming over the next five or six months, we'll probably have to come back to this conversation several times over. Okay, now that that's done, here's what we take away from this. Not much. I will say that if there's one thing Android still has the corner on, it's how to do notifications right. There are way too many of them around for all of them to be useful. This is a Bravo update. That said, while we're dealing with mature software that gets iterative changes, a lot of these features tell that Android is playing catch-up to iOS. And for a guy that prefers being in the green bubble and knowing the history of who's been the edgier player in our modern mobile era, I personally don't feel comfortable saying that. But picture-in-picture, -picture, the audio improvements, PCI-D3, and the adaptive freaking icons, those are not firsts that Hiroshi Lockheimer can claim. Does it feel like keeping up with the Joneses? Well, yes it does. I'm just glad that we, well, some of us can get there and in some cases get it done better. I am hopeful that more big consumer pushes will be done through Google Play services updates like Google Assistant, and I'm also really tired of having to wait until next year to get all the features we've talked about this year. For me, fragmentation really takes the O out of Android O.